Welcome to the Regrid Property app. Today we're going to be talking about importing data that you have into Regrid. The first thing to cover here is that Regrid only supports data that can be tied to individual properties. So that means that you're going to need an address, a parcel number, or a lat long coordinate to match what you have to our properties. Census data or other aggregate data isn't going to work here. So let's say that you do have some property level data that you want to import. For example, you know, you've got a list of properties that interest you that you got from somewhere else, or you downloaded a data set from your county or city's open data portal, something like that. So the first step is to open up the file that you want to import and make sure everything looks good. Uh, you're going to want a column with one of those three fields. Uh, so again, that's address or parcel number or latitude longitude coordinate. Um, here you'll see that we've got a parcel number column, which is going to be nice. Uh, parcel number is definitely the gold standard for uh, type to match on. Um, so if you do have that, that's the best way to go. Um, so looking at this, each uh, property or parcel is a row here, um, so that's going to work well to match. Um, all my other data looks like I would expect it to, so that's all good here, uh, and we're ready to import. Note that the two file types that you want to save as is ideally a CSV. Um, you can also work with a, an Excel file, uh, but we do recommend CSV if you have the option. Uh, it tends to work a little bit better. So you've got your data set here. Next step is to bring it actually into the import setup. So I'm going to go to the import tool here, select a file, click on the file that I want to open. Uh, you'll see the progress bar is working away here. Um, and what you see up at the top is just a preview of the file itself. So the number of records here, uh, the file name, as well as the field names for each of the columns uh, that's been pulled from the sheet that you had, as well as the file type, or rather, sorry, the column type. Um, this has gone through the testing and we can see it's 100% matched here now. Uh, it's worth uh, looking at that match rate, of course, is an important part, and then also to scroll down to the other sections in this import dialog just to make sure things are working. So uh, Cuyahoga County is right for the data we have here. Uh, and then special columns, uh, this is where the matching happens. So here we really care most about this parcel ID to the field parcel num, that's uh, as expected. Um, so we can go ahead and click finish. Uh, that's going to work through this final progress bar, and then when it's done, an add to the map button will pop up, uh, and you want to click that. And here you can see that all the properties that you've imported sort of highlight on the map. Uh, if I zoom in here and I look at a given property, I click on it, you can see that now in addition to sort of our regular parcel data tab, um, there's another tab that shows uh, with the information from the spreadsheet that you have. Uh, similarly, if you go over to list and you want to look at these things in a spreadsheet view, uh, when this loads, you'll see that there are uh, sort of different colors. And basically what we're looking at here is uh, the furthest left group, so in this sort of light blue color, uh, that's your imported data. And then this yellow color, that is uh, the base data. And if you scroll to the right, you can see that we have a lot of fields uh, there, as you would expect. Uh, from here, you can click export, and then you could export your data uh, in one of these files. Um, and so that would give you a file output that has your spreadsheet's data matched to the parcels uh, that they match to with our data. So for example, this parcel, you would get the stuff that is attached to that parcel in your data set, as well as all of our data for there. Uh, let's see, what else do we need to talk about? So. Basically, that's all the news that's fit to print for export. Um, bring it in. We'll have another tutorial video that I will go through shortly that we can talk a little bit more about like troubleshooting an import, but this is the basic overall setup. 